On Tuesday, at least 10 hospitals in the national capital shut down their OPD and emergency services. These hospitals included some of the bigger hospitals of the city, including Dindayal Upadhyay Hospital, Guru Tej Bahadur Hospital, GB Panth Hospital, Ambedkar Hospital, and even the LNJP. Not only this, resident doctors across the country have threatened to shut services, alleging that protesting doctors in Delhi were brutally thrashed by the police on Monday. But the question that arises is why are resident doctors across the country threatening to shut down services and what has led to such dissatisfaction among doctors for them to take to the streets? Resident doctors are agitated due to the delay in the college allotment after NEET PG examination. As a result of this, about 42,000 doctors are still waiting to join the workforce. This delay is due to the dispute over revising the income criteria for the economically weaker sections, that is the EWS quota, from the current upper limit of Rs 8 lakh rupees a year. The case is being heard by the Supreme Court and the next date of hearing only in January 2022. The Supreme Court had appointed a panel of three officials, including the former Finance Secretary Ajay Bhushan Pandey, Professor V.K. Malhotra, who is the Member Secretary of ICSSR, and Sanjeev Sanyal, the Principal Economic Advisor to the Indian Government. This committee was given a time of four weeks to submit their report on the matter. Doctors across the country are unhappy with the constant delay. Even the NEET PG examination, which was held in September this year, happened after being postponed from January to April and then finally in August. Not just the national capital, resident doctors in several states including Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, Kerala, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Delhi and Telangana have been protesting from as early as the 27th of November. Their major concern has been the fact that despite visits from Health Minister Mansukh Mandavia to several central-run hospitals, no move has been made to expedite the allotment process. This is Sonia Agrawal for The Print and keep watching our YouTube channel for more such updates.